Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another video by your good friend, your good pal, me, the D-Max uh, Gamers. That's right. That's right. That's right. We got the new gamer moments going on. We're playing more Sly 2. You know what to do if you're over there on YouTube. I would appreciate it if you wouldn't mind after, a, you know, a period of time. You don't have to do it right now, but if you wouldn't mind dropping a like on the video, I would have to say... And all of that good stuff. Hi, YouTube. Cork and I were talking for like a, a snicket. Um, talking about how we we getting things done in the world. We're progressing in life and it feels good. And hey, if you're in a similar track, if you're at a point where you're you're just getting shit done and uh, you feel good about it and you're, you've got like a, a choice on the table for a good column A or a good column B, both things you want to do and you're excited about something, let me know in the comments section. I want to know. Oh, hey, by the way, this is an exciting thing. Sorry, not to take up too much time. We do too much housekeeping as it is, but um, I did think this was a fascinating thing and is cause for celebration. On the YouTube, not my actual YouTube page that has like 3,000, 3,500 subs or something like that, but on the new one that we made specifically for the live streams and the clips, we just got access to being able to post. So I don't know if that's like a metric or like if that's just an amount of time that we have to be on the platform or maybe they just looked at our channel finally and said, oh, they're not a bot. So yeah, give them the ability to make posts. But I think that's pretty boggers. So I'm excited. I'm excited about that. We're gonna be making more posts. Uh, ooh, I didn't make a post, ooh. I should maybe find some way to be able to automate that so that when we go live, it also posts over there. Low key though, this might actually be the last time that I stream on Twitch. Just saying, at least maybe for now. I, I might do a few more streams on Twitch at some point, but I'm thinking I'm gonna, I think I'm I, this weekend I'm gonna make the, the leap. I've gotta, I've gotta work on some stuff like under the hood to make sure that I can do that on YouTube. Um, that's the only reluctancy that I've had to you know, making to, you know, streaming on YouTube. So we're going to try something different. We're going to try something new. We're trying to find more people to enjoy the content. So we got to go where the wind blows us, right? And uh, all that stuff. But who cares about tomorrow? Today, we are playing more Sly 2. And uh, I'm excited because we stopped halfway through a level. So let's just hop on into it. If you uh, would, would join me. Oh, also, off screen, I did get all of the bottles for this place, so now we can just do all the missions. So that's exciting. Looks like there's like, oh my God, there's like three Sly Cooper things. So I'm actually gonna, I'm gonna use Bentley. We're gonna start it off with Bentley here. All right, Sly, I'll go out onto the town again, into the ruins, the ruins, as the French say. Bentley, I don't think that's how French people talk. I thought he would die, Sly. I thought when I, oh God, they all know where I am. Oh dear Lord, they're throwing knives at me, Sly. Nobody said real life was going to be this. Oh, oh Mama my gosh. Underscore place cheered, X10. The D-Max is da best. Aw, Lawa, she's getting on a plane, coming home. We're gonna see her um, in a few hours, finally, when she gets off the plane. But thank you for those 10 biddos, I appreciate it. Thank, thank you for your support. Thank, thank you for your support. support. Oh, you came just in time, too. All right, Sly. It's time that we actually become full-fledged terrorists. Uh, Bentley, I really don't think it's a good idea to endanger everybody in this town by just trying to screw over one guy so that we can get pieces of a mechanical bird. Like, the, I get it, it's my family's nemesis and everything, but I'm having second thoughts about these, this terrorism thing. I don't think it's gonna pan out for us either. I mean, currently we're living here, like in an Airbnb. I, Air, Airbnb, I, I always forget how to say those. Ah, Sly, don't worry about it, it's fine. You're just, you're just a peacenik is what you are. We need to destroy the dam, Sly. It's important for the uh, resurrection of, um, it's for, uh, it's for the, uh, the local economy. No, it's not, it's not for the local economy. Hold on, I gotta think of, like, a good PR reason for why we're blowing up this dam. Hmm, I, uh, oh, it's good for the environment, Sly. You see, if we, if we destroy the dam, then rushing water will, uh, tear away 
the unnatural ecosystem of man, and we shall receive true nature once again. Sly's like, Bentley, again, you're just pulling stuff out. Bentley, you can't just make up, <laughs> you can't You can't just make up po political uh, bona fides so that you can achieve your dreams, you damn turtle. Well, Sly, you don't gotta talk to me like that about it. But it is true, I am making things up on the spot, but what else are we supposed to do, Sly? We have to morally justify our actions somehow. I mean, again, we are criminals. You know, Sly, I was reading this book called, uh, 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 Atlas Shrug, and in it, the, the, the author poses an interesting quarry. If, if, if Robin Hood is truly a thief, then that means that he is also the bad guy. Have you considered this, Sly? Sly's like, I really don't know if right now is the time for a philosophical debate. And I think personally that Ayn Rand just had a little bit too much sex in her books. Ah, so you have read it, Sly. <laughs> Again, more uh, more jokes that are appealing to nobody. Nice shooting, Bentley. This, uh, that, one's for, that one goes out to all you Ayn Rand fans out there. <laughs> Yo, wall dog. Yo, fellow. It's going down. Look at that. We did it. We flooded the ecosystem. Oh man! And then we committed a 9/11. How is it that we're always doing these types of jokes? Can can we stop doing these types of jokes? I mean, I like them, but also, how does how do how does how is it that every single video game we play ends up with like a 9/11 joke? How is that possible? Oh, not again! I know, right? Whoa, Corrick. Whoa, Law Dog. Whoa. How's it going, Lawa? Where you at? What's the haps? What's the hizzy? All right. Well, that's that done. Um, I was making a big hoo ha about flooding whatever, but I guess that really just flooded his palace more than anything. You see, Sly, and not a damn civilian in sight was uh, submerged in the waters. It ended up working out, Sly. As they say, the ends justified the means. Sly's so like, I don't know, Bentley, that's a really slippery slope there. I really don't think we should be condoning that that type of ethic. Ah, you'll come away to buy you'll come around to my way of thinking again, Sly. You'll you'll be here soon. You too shall know death to destroyer and that there is no truth but power. <laughs> Alright, so I get on out there. I'm doing good. Uh how to funny man be. Ooh, I'm doing alright. If you're if you're talking about me, am I funny? I don't know. I don't know. No, but I'm doing pretty well. Hanging in there. Uh, I was complaining a little earlier about how the weak man just kind of fucking, you know what I mean? Just, I mean, time has been moving faster and faster and faster. And uh, in some ways, I guess maybe it's a good thing. In other ways, it's like, Ugh. more so maybe what that is a, a, a thing, maybe the reason why that's happening to me more so than it has is what, I'm, what I mean, um, is because like, I'm, I'm, I was telling this to Cork, but I'm working on things alike. So, I'm not dreading every waking moment of the day. So there's more time to be like, oh. Oh. I'd consider you a Thunderman. Aw. Aw, Korik. You guys are just trying to butter me up. And it's working. Let's do this. Let's see this uh, uh, this mission. I need to get as much money as I can because I believe the next level will, I need some money like kind of up front. But I think we should be fine. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Constable Neela, my other love interest in this game. Uh, what's up? You got a Snapchat? You got an Instagram? You got a, uh, you got DMs? Can I slide up in somewhere? DMs perhaps? 
Look, Mila, as soon as this India job is over, why don't you and I go out on the town? We'll Ooh. dance through Bollywood and eat curry all night long. Aw. In mind. Sly's First, into it. Is Sly like a player? I thought he was really into uh, Carmelita, but I guess she's just a girl. Legally, I can't enter the premises without a warrant. Legally, Sly, we're not allowed to be in a relationship. This is India. They have different moral standards. Don't fall behind while I lead you to the entrance. A lot of my jokes surround <laughs> moral standards too. Oh God. All right. Show me a thing or two there, Neela. That's right. Crush those rhinos. Are you enjoying the second game as much as the first? I'm enjoying it more. I love this game. This game is like definitely way better in my opinion. So just as like a, a little catch up for anybody who hasn't been watching, um, Neela here is a, she's a person with an Interpol. So she's like an international police woman. And obviously, you know, she would be against us most of the time, but because of the claw gang being as big of a threat as they are, having the clockwork parts, um, she's kind of like playing as part of our side so that we can gain some, so that she can gain some information, possibly get some arrests. Um, so we've been kind of like, she's been giving us information. We've been giving her information and every once in a while, she just likes to test our grit. And also she flirts a little bit with Sly. Um, right now we're trying to get the big giant tiger man, Rajan, to give us back the clockwork heart which he's using for his illegal spice trade. So we've got to figure that out. Um, so that's why we're here. And uh, yeah, dust, dust, dust the game. She seems like your homie. Oh yeah, she's our homie. She definitely. I mean, like I said, Sly digs it. Sly's like, listen, Carmelita Fox is a fox and everything, but like Neela over here, I mean like she like she's like morally gray and that's kind of hot. And remember, if push comes to shove, I never showed you this door. And and, and we're on for that date in Bollywood. Ooh. There's like a little romance going on here. Mm -mm -mm, mm -mm -mm. I guess Carmelita Fox, you know, she should put a like a ring on it or something. Like, there it is. made a move. Just like Neela said. Ladies, take note. In order to lower the clockwork heart, you'll need access to that control box. But it's locked out tight. All right, oh, Sly. I'm sure these guards now remember, bombs. this is an illegal drug trade that we're inside of. So everything in here is both worth a lot of money and will make you have a really, really good time. So, Sly. Uh, I mean, I know you're here for the clockwork heart, you know, yada, 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 family, uh, you know, all that stuff. But, uh, you think you could, like, hook me up? Hook, hook up a brother with some weeds or something? Like, I don't know. Again, Sly, like, I, 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 I like to hang out and chill on the weekends. Like, you, you don't see me then, but I, I'm, 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 I, I said before, I'm straight edge. I, I'm trying to break out into a new way of life, Sly. Sly's like, Bentley, <laughs> please. The last time, the last time you put salt on your food, you, you like shriveled up and died. I don't think we need to give you spice. You'll catch on fire. Listen, Sly, I have allergies. That doesn't mean that I can't let loose every once in a while. Sly's like, I don't think there's enough, like, I don't think there's enough Benadryl in the world, Bentley. I really don't. I mean, Neela was defending Sly in the opening heist, so you could already tell she's different. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, she is, like, she's playing our side. Like, she's, she gets it. I, I think that, like, it, well, because, like, from the get-go, it's already kind of, it, it's, a uh, like, she talks to us about how, I don't know. She, she just generally seems to like us, is what the deal is. She seems to be in the know. Like, anybody who knows what clockwork is knows that there is some sort of a correlation there with, you know, like, the, or that the Coopers, the Cooper clan, Sly Cooper would want to be involved. 
It's because, like, you know, there, it's like a legendary, like it's known in this world. So I could imagine that Nilo would be like, hey, you know, like I get it. Like really maybe only certain people should have their hands on these clockwork parts here. Oh, ladies take note, huh? Are you saying I should propose to you? Whoa, hey now. <laughs> no, that's that's not what I meant. No, 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 no. I was just saying like, just the general idea of like, hey man, if there's a boy there and the boy likes you and you're being like, ah poo, I don't like him because he's like a master criminal that only steals from other master criminals in like a fictional universe with raccoons that maybe, maybe, you should get off your damn high horse and, and stop being such a, a foxy broad about it. That's all I'm saying. Am I leaving? Did I leave? Oh, oh, I'm here now. Shit, I didn't need to be here. I was here for the taking pictures part of it. <clears throat> Read the rest of it, you doofus. I like the idea of proposing to DMX, imagining his reaction is hilarious. I mean, I I'm, I know. Listen, maybe maybe the reaction's for funds. Okay. Um, oh, we're gonna get wet. Ah, we got wet. That's cool that that works that way. So where are we trying to get to? I gotta get up there? I gotta, no, I gotta get around him. Oh, I already got the two things, so I can actually go back. Shit. I don't even need to be here. Oops. Your reaction now is perfect. I mean, listen, man, if you're fishing for a reaction, boy, how do you do I have something for you? It's called, uh, please like, favorite, and comment, and subscribe to the YouTube video, gamers. Know what I'm talking about. All right, uh, let me get back up, because I gotta get to the thing. Wait, is he here? Yeah. Oh, actually, Oh shit, see, okay, this, ah, uh, that's frustrating. It's because like when you jump up and press circle, it goes to whatever it is that it thinks that you're trying to get to for the circle button press thing, which is like, if these are here underneath you, you gotta be really like careful. I don't even know how to actually get back up from here. Am I just screwed? How do I get back upstairs? How do I get up there? Where's the, how do I get back up? This is like weird. Why do they even, what, like why can't you even go down here? Oh, do I have to jump on that? This is fucked. I hate this. Yeah, Cork was just saying that uh, Cork just got done with um, uh, a commission or like some commissions. And now it might work on the RPG, or maybe some like personal stuff. Options, man. Screw it, I don't care if you monkeys are following me. I need, I got everything I need from everybody. Oh, fucking stop it. Oh my God. I've never had this amount of problems playing this game. Oh my fucking Lord. Not that it's a problem, it's all me playing bad, but oh Jesus Christ. All right, assholes, you can't see me anymore. Super cool, yeah, I thought so. Fuck off! Oh my god. All right, now we're good. Jesus. That's the thing about this game, uh, is that like it's it's a pretty smooth experience, but when things happen like that, things go from like bad to worse really quickly in this game. How the f And then they're confusing. <laughs> like right now. We got a Marini in the chat, catch a Marini if you want one. Think of the hydration. Always good to get the wata. Underneath the wata. Okay, we gotta go back. We gotta go back. We gotta go back. And this time, I won't press the circle button and randomly just wind up down there. Was that so hard? How many Sly 
Coopers, are there? Uh, four. There are currently four Sly Cooper games. And we're gonna play through all of them. Maybe not in order, we might take a little break in between, but we're gonna, we're gonna do it. Look at that, it's the right half. Clockwork heart. Don't go breaking my heart. I wouldn't if I tried. We did it. We got the heart. The heart of the giant bird. Let's get the bump out of here. We needed like a secret passageway to get in here, but it's confusing though because I don't think we technically did. Be a coup as we could have just gone in the way we did the, because like we've already been inside that room. It's just that we got in there before by going underneath that waterfall over there. And that's how we took all the reconnaissance photos. So what the heck? Been working on 3D modeling and comic and a game. Ooh, lots of projects in the work. Will Fall Guys ever come back? Um, no. <laughs> no, it won't. I don't know. I mean, Fall Guys still exists. What do you say? What do you mean? The thing is about Fall Guys is that it sucks to match make in. I can't play with anybody. So I'm like, what's even the point? You know, if they fix their matchmaking, sure. But I'm not, I can't play the, I can't play the, the, the bad matchmaking games. If it's a game that's around, it's a party game for God's sake. And their matchmaking is terrible. So not until they fix that. So you should, so if you want me to play it, you gotta bug them about it. <laughs> Seems fair, right? Oops. Now everybody sees me again, oh no. I'm not here, you can't see me, see? I'm sneaking away, you guys didn't even know. We could play it on a combo stream? I mean, we could, but again, like the the problem is still gonna persist. It's still gonna be, if you wanna do it, sure. Well, I'll, you know, I just don't really wanna have to, frankly, waste my time with it <laughs> on my stream. But I like, it, I like playing it with you guys. If it was just as easy as that, I would do it, but it's not, the matchmaking sucks. You're the demolitions expert. How am I supposed but to use that? I'm, I, and like the thing is like, the reason why I'm like even like this right now about it is because like, like I, that pisses me off. Like genuinely, it's stupid that a game like that can exist with such horrible matchmaking. All right, I like this level a lot too. 3D modeling takes fucking forever. So I don't blame you. So the gimmick for this level is that we have to like do these little barrel things, bring them places, and then jump out and explodify the thing. Uh, oh. Oh, it's an insta death. Wow. Shoot. I. Uh, that's weird. I thought I cleared that. I guess my death perception in this game needs some work. Ah, oh, it's so wonderful to see all the passion projects. People out there, if you're on the fence about starting something you wanna do, just do it. Don't let your memes be memes. I just realized something. These things are like, they're beams of light. If I step inside of them, they start to shoot me. How does that make sense? Oh, come on. I'm within visual range of the spice grinder. What's next? All right, slide. This is the pure shit here. If you could get like a jar of this, we'll be we'll be riding high at least for two weeks. We'll blow it on hookers, and on more drugs. I mean, we could just keep these drugs, frankly, Sly. 
<laughs> Sly's like, Bentley, what is hap- Okay, we need to, like, have, like, a full sit-down intervention. What the hell is happening to- I mean, what the hell is going on with Bentley? God. What do you mean, Sly? I- 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 I'm just joking. These are all jokes, Sly. Like, you, you gotta know. I'm- uh, I mean, we've been friends since we were in, uh, orphans, you know? Sly's like, that's the problem, though, Bentley. You talk about everything as if it's past tense. We are orphans, Bentley. We are orphans. Jesus Christ, Sly, you're right. I've been so wrong. Ah! Make sure to get the TNT barrel into that basin filled with spice dust. Got a pen. Okay, so we got a, 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 we got a. Right. Oh, this is a thing too. What is this? That's funny. I, huh? He just knows that code, huh? That's. I wonder if maybe that was supposed to be a thing at some point. Like there were. Oh, hello underneath part of the level. That's funny. Uh, I wonder if that was supposed to be like a part of the game, like story-wise, and they just kind of were like, oops, we didn't really do anything with that, so I guess we'll just make it so you can just open it. Get some coins. I wanna get, I need to get this. Oh, wait, we can't go this way. So wait, am I backtracking for no reason? Yeah, I'm backtracking for no reason. Ips. Oops, oops. Also, Backtracking for No Reason is the name of my short film. Um, it debuted at uh, Sundance, and people liked it so much because it related to them and their personal struggles with getting and owning a clown outfit. Oh, there's a thing down here. Oops. Nothing to see here, sir. It's just your n normal, natural, you know, everyday barrel filled of dynamite and raccoon parts. Pay you no mind. I think we can do this, right? Hey. Also, that on. That's weird. I just noticed that that. Ow. I just noticed that doing that gave us like a percentage of the Thievius Raccoonus. That's weird. Why did it do that? That's very strange. Why did it choose then to give me a percentage of the thing? Oh, keep it moving. <laughs> I think he heard me. This is annoying now because I can't kill him. Just gotta be stuck behind his stinky self. Oh, come on, Stinkerton. Oh shit, oh shit, I was trying to read comment. No, no, no. Oh boy. I'm just gonna keep on running. And hope, oh God, oh Lord, all the things. What is this? Acid Galaxy 6388, uh, first time chatter says, uh, my goal is to, my goal is to beat the Sly Collection with all achievements. Well, I believe in you, gamer. I believe in you, gamer. I don't think it should be that hard, honestly. Um, I think all the achievements are pretty basic. Like, um, it's mostly just like complete the game and get all the upgrades and, Maybe there might be one for Sly 3, I remember, that's like, get a certain amount of coins or something. So that might be a little bit of a grind, but I believe in you, I think you can do it. How's it going so far? How far into it are you? Let me just dispatch of this menace to snidey. Slide two is a lot longer to beat. Yeah, it is a lot longer. Well, let's see, there was only, 
there was five levels in like really it's technically six i guess but there's really about there's really only five levels in sly one whereas in sly two spoilers there's like what is it eight or nine i think i think it's eight if I do that, it's not gonna, yeah, it's not gonna help anything. I'm going for Sly 3, but taking a break. I don't blame you. That's probably what I'm gonna do too, because we got done with Sly 1, now we're in Sly 2. I really love these games though. They're from my childhood. I grew up with them. I mean, I think Sly 3 is good. I don't think Sly, in my opinion, Sly 2 is better than Sly 3, but there is a bunch of stuff about Sly 3 that's really cool. And um, also, too, I would say... Sly 3 is just a little glitchier, you know? Sly games rating? Oh, you want me to, like, rate them? Like, rate the Sly games? I'd probably say one is... See, the, it's hard, though, because are you saying it like... Uh, this is hard, because I feel like for me, there's like two grading scales. There's a grading scale that I would give something if it's if it's like retro, let's call it. There's a grading scale that I would use for that for like at the time. Like, okay, like, uh, uh, like Zelda Ocarina of Time, for instance. I would rate Zelda Ocarina of Time a nine out of 10 if it were like, if you're talking about like for the time, right? But if you're talking about it in like a modern context, I would say it's like maybe like a seven or eight out of 10. Like it goes down a few points because of the modern stuff. And it's mostly just because like the way that we make video games now and the quality of life updates that like just developers have learned throughout the history of making uh, making games has improved so much, you know? So like if you, so I'll just simplify it and I'll just say like overall, I guess. I'll just like generalize it. I'd say Sly 1 for me is probably an eight. Sly 2 is like a 9, and Sly 3 is like maybe a 7.5. Let's let's say 7.5. I'll even air low and say 7. I'll just say full-blown 7. Is that it? Are we done here? I didn't... Did we get the mission complete thing? I guess we'll blow this thing up, and that's all we'll get back. Uh, and then Sly 4, I... It's been a minute since I played Sly 4, but I remember really enjoying it and having a good time with it. So it'll be interesting to play it again. I've, I've only played Sly 4 one time. Whereas Sly 1, 2, and 3, I have played both, like all of them at least 10 times before in my life. Um, but Sly 4, I think like just from what I remember right now, I'd give it like, it's, it's probably as good as Sly 1. Like I'd give it like an eight. I think it's better than Sly 3. From, again, from what I remember. Okay. How many more things do we have to do here? Uh, we gotta go over there. Oh, that's okay. We gotta go. We gotta go around. It's one of those where you can't get there unless you go all the way up. I just realized Mr. Hippo looks a lot like Sly Cooper sidekick. Does he though? I mean, that's true. Yes, Murray, Murray and Mr. Hippo do have a lot in common. It is funny how there's like two of the same shaded colored hippos that exist in, in like gaming media. And there's like no overlap between the series really at all. I don't know. Maybe there is a little bit of an overlap between Five Nights at Freddy's people and Sly Cooper people. They've got, I mean, some of them have got to be the same people, right? They just got to be. I'm glad that old games are getting next-gen treatment. Yeah, well, it's nice that they're keeping them updated. I mean, I was pissed, man, for a long time. They didn't have... Because th this game got removed from PlayStation Plus um, for a few months. Like, the collection, you couldn't play it. Oh shit, why am I here? No, 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 no. I don't need to be here. Um, We need to go that way, so I need to go. Where is that damn? There it is. 
There's like one particular pillar you have to get up in order to get to where they, that is. You ever heard of Transformers Devastation? Uh, yes, I have. I think I played it. Wasn't that for PS3? That was an older game, right? Or is that is that a newer Transformers game? Some of the Transformers games are like low key pretty cool. Like they got some pretty cool stuff in them. How do I get over there? I gotta go up? See, this is what I'm talking about. It's like, what the fuck? All right, gotta go, get on the plane. Have a great time, rest of the day, okay. See you, Lawa. We'll see you over here soon. Gamer, appreciate it. Thank you for the 10 bits before. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your support. Appreciate it, Lawa. Fly safe. Flap your arms, nice and big. I guess I gotta go, ugh. I gotta go all the way around. Majority of the PS3 games never updated for next gen consoles. It's really upsetting. I mean, we talk about this a lot on the channel about how Sony in particular, it's like, I feel like Sony made their money on PS3 game or in PS2, in the PS2 era. Let me see if I can. Here we go. Oh, fuck. No. He's gonna turn around again. Oh boy. No! What an asshole. Oh, monkey. Oh, you have, oh, monkey, monkey, monkey. Oh, you dumb monkey, you. That made me mad. No, but I feel like uh, Sony made their buck off of people like me who grew up in the platformer age of the PS2 where there was like Jack and Daxter and uh, Ratchet and Clank and Sly Cooper and uh, Crash Bandicoot and, you know, Gex. I mean, you, you just, you can riddle them all off, right? And where is their representation these days? These days, what they really care about is like, oh, Silent Hill or like Uncharted or like, oh, what's like the next like, like hyper realistic bullshit we can just jam down everybody's throats to do our weird social agendas like that's what sony's really into these days and i don't understand it it's like that kind of stuff can exist and i'm all happy for it i haven't played the last of us but i'm sure it's fun but it's like meh it's like where, but where's my goofy like devious raccoonus look at him Look at that boy, how do you not like him? He's so expressive and interesting. This is what makes young people come to your platform. Like, not not to mention too, it like appeals to more people than like the Silent Hills or whatever. Like, I like Silent Hill, I wanna play Silent Hill, but there's other things besides just realism. Like, do the cartoony stuff as well, Sony. And yet they left him off of the, the PlayStation Plus for like so long, it's so silly. Silent Hill 2 remake is OP. Dude, yeah, I'm actually, I'm looking forward to that. A cherry bomb 500. That's a Sucker Punch is to blame, honestly. No, I think it's a problem, like, just industry-wide. I don't know, like, Sucker Punch, yeah, Sucker Punch I'm on it. abandoned Sly Cooper, which is really sad to say, but it is 100% accurate and true. Um, they abandoned the series, and... It's just sad because I really like the series and it, they, the people that they gave it to did a decent job, but it's pretty obvious as well that like they don't like where's again, where has Sly Cooper been since then? Like if somebody wanted to push this series and make it so that it's like another like Sonic, they could have. They easily could have made Sly Cooper into a Sonic for its generation. I, as far as I understand though, these games never sold all that well, but I would I think that's probably to do with marketing more than people not being interested in these games their marketing push on toonami for instance was pretty successful from what i understand all right i gotta get all the way over there how do i get over there so i go uh, that way is it that way i gotta go i guess i can go that way i'll go that way when i played it for the first time 
Uh, on hard difficulty, what are you talking about? Transformers Devastation. On hard difficulty, I thought it was kind of difficult, but not too bad. And then you do the challenge on Prime mode, and it feels like Dark Souls, if I'm honest. <laughs> oh, man. There's so many video games, you know? It just, I guess it just depends, like, what you're into. Really just depends on what you want to be invested in. I, I, I think it's hard, right? Because the I, my question there would be, like, what is... Is there is there such a thing then as justified difficulty, or is it that if something is difficult, like I guess what I'm trying to say is like if something is just difficult, and you compare it to Dark Souls, and Dark Souls being as like acclaimed as a series as it is, I don't know what am I trying. I I, I guess I can't really articulate this point because I can't really find the words to say what I want to say with that. Maybe at some point I'll get it better. Anyway. So the Sly uh, Collection was worked on by the same devs that made Sly 4. Yes. Yes. And they seem to get the assignment. That seemed to be a good way to do it because, um, and honestly, since then, I'm trying to think, there's another example of a studio doing something similar like that. And I just cannot remember. There was like a collection that came out recently for something like that. What was it? Or maybe it is Sly that I was thinking of. But I like the idea though that the, the devs work on the HD remake version, whatever, and then go on to making like their own version of the game. I think it's almost like, it's a good way to kind of hand it off to a new developer. Because it's a good show of faith that like, hey, look, they know what the original looks like and they know what it feels like and they know what it should be like. And then, so for them to carry it forward is now like a, a step in their direction. Crash, Spyro, that, yes, yes, yes. No, but Spyro, not so much. Crash, yes, yes, yes. I was, yes, 100%. It is Crash, you were totally right. Totally, totally right, accurate. Yeah, it, Crash is the, the one that I was thinking of. Um, Spyro, not so much, because they ne they never made a new Spyro game, which is sad. It just, the the series kind of fizzled out with fucking Skylanders, which I, I don't even hate. I thought Skylanders was kind of cool. But, you know, besides the, like, overly marketed cheapo plastic crap that they sell kids, just to take all of their money for something that they probably could have just added to the game as a collectible. Um... But if you take that away from it, honestly, it's it's pretty cool. It's a pretty cool series, but it's nothing like the original Spyros, which is yet again another series I think we're gonna end up playing on the series on the channel at some point. Lots of good old PS2 platformers that are a lot of fun. I don't know why they gotta be silly about it. Not Skylanders. Spyro Collection was good. No, Spyro Collection was good. <laughs> no, it's got. But no, but that's what I'm saying though. Is like specifically instances where there is an HD remake of a thing, and then the same studio who made the HD remake goes on to make a sequel for that game. So like Crash was what I was thinking of because they made uh, the Insane trilogy, but then they went on to make um, Crash Four, or the one with time. You know. Oops, 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 oops. He's gonna see me. He didn't see me. Whoa, buddy. What the hell? Oh, fuck. I'm fucked, I'm fucked, I'm fucked, I'm fucked, I'm fucked, I'm fucked, I'm fucked. I'm fucked. Okay, I'm not fucked. And now... You guys piss off. All right, assholes. Ow! Do they just keep coming? We good? No, 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 no. Okay, we're good, we're good. Okay, okay. Almost done. I'm glad I kind of talked my way through this level because <laughs> I've had problems on this uh, thing before too. Klonoa, yeah, Klonoa is a good example. Well, Klonoa hasn't um, had an, a new sequel yet, have they? Yeah, but Klonoa is another good, another example of a 
um, good PlayStation platformer. There's, that's what I'm saying. There's, there's so many of them, and they don't do them at all anymore. It's like, but also too, it's just like the the cartoony stuff. They don't do that with uh with with Sony. Not a new one, but one and two just had a remake. I know. What is it on? Can I can I buy that on? Because I want to play those games, because I never got a chance to. Then get to high ground as fast as you can. Rajan is sure to show up and be extra angry. Jump him, snag his half of the clockwork heart, and we're out of here. This is like the least thought out plan that Bentley has ever done. He's just like, I don't know, Sly, we're gonna we're gonna blow a dam and release water into the whole place again, and and uh, as soon as Rajad comes out, he'll just uh, give us the clockwork heart. It'll all work out, Sly. You see, you have to have an IQ of 269 in order to understand this plan and the full ramifications of what I am setting up here, Sly. Sly's like, I don't think this is gonna work out, but then again, most of your plans, I think they're not gonna work out. Murray's just like, I mean, as long as we can eat after. We can eat after, right? Guys? Alright, fuck it. By the way, Transformers Devastation is my second favorite game. That's not true. You said Breath of the Wild is your second favorite game. I have you on video saying that. I just edited that, actually, into a YouTube video. So I would know. Uh, oh, I gotta be there's Murray. You're right, I was wrong. It's my fifth favorite. Okay, that's what I was kidding. That's what I thought. I was like, uh, I was like, listen. I was like, I'm sure Transformers Devastation's pretty good and everything, but like, there's a lot of other games out there. <laughs> Whatever. I w it's not like I'd be offended if it was actually, if you were like, no, no, no. Transformers Devastation is my first favorite game. God damn it. Ah. Okay, we're good. Uh oh. This is something funny. Hey, look at me, look at me, look at me. Oh my gosh. Ah. Can't see me. Let's head out for the turret, Murray. Set up shop here and provide covering fire while you try to pry open the elephant's mouth for Sly. Check. So he's got to pry open an elephant's mouth. Why is it? Why are we doing that again? I can't remember. I don't remember why. Elephant's mouth. Elephant's mouth. Oh, that over there. I don't rem. Hmm. Oh, that's because that releases all of the water into the thing. I remember now. It's all coming back Clear to me. Those guards before you take a crack at opening the mouth. Whoa, how can they hit me when I'm like that? I don't like that. Nice work. Now put hey. those muscles to the test and pry that thing open. We killed all the monkeys. Holy hell. God Zooks! He's trying to nuke him, God Zooks! I like that I'm like slightly tipsy on this uh, tower thing that I'm currently mounted on. Also, I just realized they commandeered like a helicopter at some point and did that whole other like last part of it. Hiroshima POV. And here I am literally contemplating to myself about like, how can I not make a joke that's alluding to war right now? 
Because I've been editing a lot of my old, like, a, a lot of the Sly Cooper stuff, and I'm like, oh my god. Like, a lot of this Sly Cooper content is very much, like, talking about war. <laughs> I guess it's not outside of what's being, what's actually happening, but... Got a mash. He's the best around. He's a purple elephant and everybody keep it down. <laughs> I just feel like every other sentence, every other thing that Lulldog says in my chat is 9-11. The Cherry Bomb 500. Okay, I gotta bring it over there. Bruh. Get out of my way! Oh boy. Did Sly Cooper commit war crimes? Uh, Sly Cooper um, is, I was gonna say he was born American, but I don't think that's actually technically canonical. I think he's like French or something. I don't know where he was born, but if he was, he has the fifth amendment, so he wouldn't have to answer that question. But at the same time, he probably should answer for his war crimes. But let's be honest, Sly Cooper's war crimes are probably not Sly Cooper's war crimes. They're probably Bentley's war crimes. Bentley's like, ah, yes, I use Sly Cooper's name and family legacy as a as a proxy. You see, I am actually so George Soros in disguise. That's my last name, folks. It was Soros the whole time. Bentley Soros, that's what they call me. Oh, good lord. Let me get over there. I just want to get over there, please. Is he stuck? I don't think he can see me if I'm not in his light, but he's like right on top of me too. That sword is going right into, okay. Oh, well, I guess he turned around. And the, ah, it sucks too, because I can't leave the barrel. God damn it. Well, this is a fine pickle. That's right, go around me. Oh, fuck off. Gonna be a big note for me, though. I didn't like that. I gotta start all over again. God, I need to watch all the Transformers War movie. <laughs> Do you? Do you, though? Are you sure about that? Just watch all the fight scenes. Just don't, don't like, try to comprehend, uh, What's his name? Shia LaBeouf. Or who's that other guy? Who, who else is in those movies? What is it, Matt? Matt? Mark Wahlberg, that's what I was thinking of. I'm absolutely positive. All right, I mean, fair enough. Ah, uh, those were, I mean, they were all right. They were okay. Those movies are very like, all right, what are we doing here? All right, we got the government after aliens, I guess. All right, cool. Got it. I mean, it makes sense. I guess it makes sense they would be. Okay, I'm going this way, but I'm not gonna get stuck the same way that I did before. This time, I'm gonna wait over here. He'll go that way, and none will be the wiser. None were the wiser, except for me. I was pretty wise. Ah, poo. I started talking about the Transformers stuff and then I realized very quickly that I actually do not have any opinion about it at all. So I'm like, whatever. It's been a minute since I've seen those movies too, though. I feel like they're constantly on TV though, like on TNT or something. I don't watch a lot of TV though. All right, here we go. Time to commit a terrorism. Again, for the fifth time in the series? No, we gotta run away. 
Where did they escape to? Oh my god, if it, like, went up that fast, I really don't think that there's any amount of running that they could have done to get away from it. Now, granted, I think Murray is it. well, Murray is a hippo, right? So... Black clouds and thunderbolts! Black clouds and thunderbolts. destroy my hard-won empire this place is mine uh, here i am king come face me cooper he's With pissed Hogwarts black heart i will show you true power you are nothing come face the might of rajan lord of these hills lord of the hills when we try to tick someone off we really time to commit a war crime everybody yes you do seem to have quite a talent for it. Hey. Mila, slumming it with the thieves again? That man is an illegal spice trader. He should be brought to justice. We gotta take him down! Part. You help me take him down, and the bust is all yours. Let's do it! Try to keep up. Let's get it! Alright, me and Neela, teaming up. Gonna take on the Rajan. This is the boss fight we all wanted since the last stage. Here we go. A whoop. Uh, oh, come on. Oh. Hey, easy peasy. How about that? Neela, now. Not so bad. Sorry. Get him, Neela. What? What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, no. <gasps> I'm coming, buddy. No. This is it. This is the Cooper gang I've heard so much about and feared these long hours. The Murray. One of my friends is called Rajan. Well, now you think of him as this guy. The Murray. All I see is a fat, pathetic weakling. Ooh. I might be big and not as smart as the other guys, but one thing I'm not is weak. Let's go, Murray. Fuck him up. Oh shit. Okay, this boss fight's a little difficult. Ah! Damn it. I gotta get back in the swing of it. I'll get it. Holy shit. Ah! Damn it. Because you gotta get him... Ugh. You get the most amount of damage on him if you... Fuck me. And he's got peoples. You get the most amount of... Ah! This is gonna take a few attempts, I can tell. Oh, yeah. You get the most amount of, like, damage on him if you can get him into the, uh, into the guard railing. Character development! <laughs> That's what I'm saying. There's a lot of stuff happening right now. Like, lore-wise. Oh, fuck off, Rajon. God damn it. Oh, come on! I keep on jumping, but it's not letting me. Fuck off! What do you mean I got hit by that? Oh, God. Okay, we got it now. Now I remember. Fuck off! Oh, my God. Ha! Ah, you stupid... Oh, I hate that there's so many people here, too. Okay. No, 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 no. Uh, I didn't have enough time to react to that. I didn't have enough time. This is a Dark Souls fight right here. Holy shit. God damn, dude. Can I... Okay, I can. Ooh. Holy fucking hell. No! Oh my god, how does he keep on hitting me? I'm like 10 billion years away. Okay, good. Oh, fuck me. Oh god, okay, okay, okay. I need the health. I guess it's good that these guys keep on spawning, though, because they do give me health every once in a while. It's just annoying. Oh, that's right. I forgot that I can... 
I can kind of sprint around, which is, I think, maybe the better way to evade some of this. Ow. Okay, okay. Holy shit, man. Ah! It's when I do the thunder flop, it doesn't work. It's not so good on him. Oh my god. No, 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 no. Fucking hell, man. I just wish I would know, I could know when I'm stunning him and when I'm not. Okay. Okay. We're looking good. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh no. That fucking monkey. Oh my god, we're so close. Please. Stop spawning people. Oh my lord. Oh god. Uh, no. Stop. Oh, give me that. No, give me, 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 game. No, don't, get, don't do that, game. God damn it. Oh my. F oh. This is hard. Oh, it's so hard. Why is it so hard? Every bit of my childhood is screaming at me. I hate it. Piss me off, damn it. My fucking childhood is like, mm, you always had problems with this. This guy is an asshole. And I'm like, I know childhood, I know. I'm trying to get him for you, but he's hard. Is it one, two, three? Okay. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, now we got this. I just want to get him up against the wall, but sometimes it doesn't let me. Oh boy, oh boy, one hit. Jeepers creepers, man. Oh, fuck. You can't, it's like so hard to bait him against the wall, against the wall, because he turns. Oh my, ah, oh, stop it. These guys attacking is so dirty. Pretty sorry, you can't, stop, stop that. F fucking fellow, that's not a good quote. That's lame. Why'd you do that? It's lame. It's just lame. It's weak sauce. It's easy. It's an easy one. And plus, I think I already have a quote like that anyway. Okay, buddy. You are making me have a... Mm. Oh, God. I get so frustrated with them and then I stop counting. Please. Oh my God. Thank you. Stop, stop. Why the fuck do you do so much damage? No, 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 no! Why does this keep happening? Oh, I hate this fight. I've always hated this fight. I, I, and I say I hate it, but I like that it's actually very challenging. It's good. Give kids that play video games walls to overcome. Do it for us! Video gaming industry, please don't treat us like we're babies. We're not! We can take it. We can take a difficult fight every once in a while. It's okay. There's a snow run in chat. Catch a snow run. Dispatch this fool. And now he's calling these guys. Okay. 
Okay. Got a good cycle on him now. Oh my god. Okay, I was I was trying to get some health there. We got this this time. I think now I figured out the strat. It's a series of hitting and dodging and timing things and not getting hit by a fucking monkey out of nowhere, for God's sake. Oh my God, this fight. Do I have? No. Uh-oh. Uh, shit, I need, I want that, 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 I want that. King of the Hills, more like ding da ding 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 da ding 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 da ding 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 da ding 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 because he said that he was the king of the hill, right? Does he sell propane or propane's accessories? That's a clean burning hell, I'll tell you what. Oh my lord. Ah! Come on. Oh, farts. We're so close. Okay, this time we got it for sure. There's no way. We can't fuck this up. Shit, I'm fucking it up. Got him, got him, got him, got him, got him. Got him, bitches, let's go! Got him, bitches! Flies hurt, Neela! Oh shit. Big lore reveals happening while Winnie the Pooh is playing. Great Murray character development, exactly. Except your defeat gracefully. Actually, Contessa, there's a good reason Inspector Fox never caught the Cooper gang. She's been in league with them the whole time. Liar! Yep. Prove it! Neela was a, a backstabbing bitch the whole time. Sly Cooper on the night the clockwork wings were stolen. Ooh. But I didn't know I was dancing with Cooper. She got framed. It could certainly seem very familiar in this picture. Men. So this lady's the Contessa. She's the boss of the Interpol. I'll get you, Neela. Don't think I won't. Such a pity when an officer falls from the light. Yes. Oh boy. Indeed. Yes, indeed. I can't believe that. Ah, that bitch. That double crossing cockney liar. Bitch, she's a total bitch, Sly. I could have told you that from the way she posts her Instagram photos. She doesn't, she crops out her own head, Sly. What woman on Instagram crops out her own head in pictures on Instagram? Neela had betrayed us. My teammates were And that was before I saw the OnlyFans. So this is cool as fuck. inferior, Sly and Murray had always been a rich source of sociological interest. Oh, Bentley. The out of the jungle gave me time to reflect. I always said I didn't step. need them, but as it turns out, I actually did need them. Shockingly, my comrade's absence had a profound emotional effect on me. Aww. Look this at him, he's a scared little turtle. This was the true test of friendship. Remember to, this what? Upon reaching the van, my resolve was hardened. I had to save my friends. But I'm first things it. first, I had to learn how to drive a stick shift. So, yeah. Sly and, uh, Sly and, um, Murray have been captured. And now we have to go get them back. Otherwise, we can't play as Sly or Murray anymore. <laughs> 
So I think that's fucking amazing. Like I, 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 I've always loved the, I love the fact that, like that blew my mind. Like the, just, just the idea that you know. Again, we're going from the one villain, which is more like a Sly 1 villain, where it's like you go there and then you get it done and then you move on. And then it's a part one, part two villain. But by the end of being part two, your team gets fucking captured. That's so cool. And then you got to start the next adventure, which is going to be next time on the stream. Uh playing as Bentley, trying to get the boys back. Bring the boys home, as it were. So that'd be exciting. That is what we're gonna be doing tomorrow. Uh, or, or I'm sorry, not tomorrow, but the uh, this we're gonna be doing next time on the next episode on the YouTubers. So everybody over on Twitch, say goodbye to YouTube um, because they're going away for a little bit, but they'll be back hopefully. And uh, if there's somebody new, I wouldn't appreciate, I would appreciate, geez, wouldn't. I would appreciate a, a like, a sub, or any of that goodness. Uh, appreciate it. Thank you for your, your support. Everybody out there. Thank you for your support. And we're gonna see you gamers in the next episode. Enjoy. Catch you later, YouTube. Bye, YouTube. Goodbye for now. We'll see you in the next video.